Hi friends, it's Claire and today I am so excited to finally be taking the Camp Half-Blood Cabin Quizzes. I did take these quizzes when I first started reading The Lightning Thief and quickly realized that I couldn't answer a lot of the questions because I still hadn't been introduced to the majority of the characters and monsters and gods. So I am back here, I am finished the series. Finally, only took me over 10 years to do it, but here we are. And now I'm gonna find out for real who my godly parent is. Okay, which cabin at Camp Half-Blood from Percy Jackson would you belong in? This is the BuzzFeed quiz, so let's see. This one doesn't hold much value, to be quite honest, but since I took it last time, I want to see if my results have changed. Choose a weapon to fight the titans with. Bow and arrow, sword, knife, magic, shield, spear, ready with medical aid or strength. I just always want to be that baddie with a sword, but I think that's because I read a lot about baddies with swords. That was hard to get out. But a bow and arrow, I could get them from a distance. Like, I don't want to get too close. I don't want to give you the ability to take me down. Sword, we're a little, we're kind of close there. That's why a spear and knife would be, no, absolutely not. Um, yeah, we're gonna say sword again. Choose something to control. Water, earth, fire, air, planets, outer space, appearance, or time. Now, last time I did water, but I know there's a question later, I think, that's like, what would you rather... I don't remember. There's another question later where I was like, oh, I would choose water, but I already chose water. So let's see what our options are. What would I rather control? Now that I've read the books, time is interesting, because Kronos can control time and slow things down down and I think that's really fascinating. Appearance could be interesting too if I had something like Annabeth's invisibility cap. That would be really fun. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna shake it up. I'm gonna go with appearance this time. I want to be able to become invisible. Pick a main character to fight with you. Okay, now I actually know all these characters. Percy Jackson, Annabeth Chase, Grover Underwood, Luke Still don't know how to say his last name, Castellan. Talia Grace, Nico D'Angelo. I don't need anyone, I work alone, which is still false. I would absolutely die if I was working alone on a quest. Percy is loyal to a fault, and I know he would have my back, but I still want to fight with Annabeth. She's a baddie, and she's also loyal, and yeah, she would be able to take all the monsters down. Pick a side character to fight with you. Clarice LaRue, Tyson, Rachel Elizabeth Dare, Selena Burger. Charles Beckendorf or the Stoll brothers to fight with me. Last time I said Rachel. I don't regret choosing Rachel because I do think she's a great character, but I don't know that I'd want her to fight with me because she doesn't have that technical skill. Clarice would end those monsters for me. I think at the end of the day, I would want to fight with Beckendorf. He is also very loyal. That was his demise. That was sad, but I know that he would have my back to the end and he's clever. Yeah, we're gonna go with Charles Beckendorf. Who is your least favorite god or goddess? <laughs> Oh, the list goes on and on. Hades, Zeus, Ares, Ares, Fork. I keep messing that one up. Ares, Hera, Poseidon, Aphrodite, Artemis, Athena. I despise all of them. I love all of them. Okay, I don't despise all of them. I actually do like the majority of them. Hera was rude. She was freaking rude. I was not a fan of her. She only has her best interests at mind. And honestly, at the end of the day, Ares kind of pulled through. Like, he was there for Clarice, and we stand a good parent, so Hera, bye-bye. Choose a power to have. This was the one. Ability to fly, speak to animals, invincibility, control water, make plants grow, know every fact in the world, see the future, control minds. Once again, see the future, control minds. It's an immediate no for me. Making plants grow is very cute, and I would love in my everyday life, but that would not help me on a quest. Unless it was Grover, he plays the reed pipes, but Sorry, I'd rather have other skills. And knowing every fact in the world, I honestly think I would stress myself out. If I knew every fact in the world, I would be stressed over all the information I have. Like, sometimes ignorance is bliss. I would love to control water. But now that I'm looking at this, listen, invincibility is so tempting. Percy having his Achilles heel was kind of like, it was the game changer in the war. He wasn't able to die unless someone went for his Achilles heel and I would kind of like that. Or I could control water, which is also very tempting. Mm -mm. Do you know what? It's gonna be invincibility for me. I'm too tempted. Which monster do you think you could beat? Once again, none of them. There's no point in even reading them out. I couldn't defeat a single one of these. I'm still gonna go Cyclops. That's the one time where I think cleverness would come in handy and I could maybe outsmart it. Which monster would you lose to? Once again, all of them. 
and I know all of these monsters now and I would still lose to every single one of them. More than any of them, obviously Typhon, because like the gods couldn't even defeat him without all of them. I'm not that powerful. I'm not even a little bit powerful. Where would you end up in the underworld? Fields of Punishment, I'm a terrible person. Elysium, Fields of Asphodel, I didn't do much. Isles of the Blessed, I've achieved greatness every time. I'll have to let the judges decide. None of them, I never die. And once again, I'm gonna go with Fields of Asphodel because this point in my life, I really have not done much but I hope to change that one day. Choose a camp. Camp Half-Blood, Camp Jupiter. I'm not a demigod who needs a camp. I have a feeling that either in the next spin-off series or in the Trials of Apollo, in one of the spin-off books, I'm gonna find out what Camp Jupiter is because I still don't know what that is, but I would love to be at Camp Half-Blood. I wanna be friends with all of these demigods and I want Kyron to like be my camp leader. Describe yourself. Caring, loyal, determined, smart, strong, powerful, uncertain, beautiful. Definitely uncertain, but I'm still gonna go with caring. Kevin's six? Wait, this is so much better than the last time. Oh my gosh. I'm a child of Athena. And if Beth is my sister, she has no choice but to befriend me. As a child of Athena, not only are you extremely smart, but you will prove essential in any battle. I love that so much. I can't lie, I was pretty disappointed when I got Hermes the first time, but I didn't know any of the characters or the monsters were. It's not a very Athena thing to do taking that quiz that early, but I'm glad my mother forgives me and has chosen me as her own. Yay. Okay, on to the actual Rick Riordan website one. Okay, we're in a new setup because that last one was not working. My iPhone storage keeps cutting me off. We're crossing our fingers, hoping this works. Rick Riordan's website, who is my godly parent? Last time I got Poseidon and I was very happy with that. Okay, let's go. Which of these is your favorite color? Blue, green, gold, pink, silver, or black? And my answer is still blue. Which of the following places do you prefer? The mall, the beach, a forest, a library, a cemetery, or a concert hall? Now last time I said the beach and I do love the beach, but I've been thinking more about this and a concert hall is like a stage where you do music and performances and that's kind of my vibe and I really miss concert halls right now. So, mm hmm but I also love the beach. Yeah, no, it's still the beach. Sorry, concert hall. Okay, which of these foods is your go-to? Sushi, shish kebab, s'mores, rice cake, tuna, or barbecue ribs? And my answer is still, of course, forever and always, sushi. Which of these is your favorite pastime? Practicing archery? No. Singing karaoke? Yes. Exploring a cave? No. Building with Legos? No. Shopping for clothes? Kind of, sometimes. Riding a horse? No. Singing karaoke it is. Are all these answers gonna be the same? Is there even a point in me retaking this? <laughs> Which of these is your favorite animal? Still a dolphin. Which kind of music do you like best? New Age, classical pop, show tunes, cool jazz, the grateful dead. Still show tunes. Not much has changed in the past two weeks, three weeks. Which one of these apps would you be most likely to use? Still voice recorder, used it today. Catch me doing my songwriting via voice recorder all day, every day. What is your fatal flaw? <clears throat> my fatal flaw is that I never delete anything off of my iPhone storage and my camera keeps cutting me off, but we're back. Let's finish this quiz. <gasps> Oh my gosh, this is kind of stressful. My fatal flaw is definitely still that I can be too proud. Pride is a thing I have problems with. I realized recently the one thing I hate most, well not most, one of the things I hate most is when someone talks to me like I don't understand what's going on or they like try to condescend. Oh, nothing gets under my skin quicker. On to the next one. What is your best quality? I think it's still that I'm creative. Yeah. It's still decided. I don't think I chose a single answer differently. So was there a point to this? Maybe not, except like, oh my gosh, Poseidon. <laughs> He's highly attractive. I know it's a cartoon. However, that's my dad. Okay, never mind. That, that got weird. It's not real. I'm still quite proud to be a daughter of Poseidon. I believe it. I've always been drawn to the water. You know, Moana was my fave. <laughs> I want to be Percy's half-sibling, Tyson's half-sibling, and I want to force Annabeth to be friends with me. So, I think it works. I'm kind of really vibing with that. Oh my gosh, I got daughter of Athena and daughter of Poseidon. Like, 
They really said dual Annabeth Percy. Love it. Love it so much. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope that was fun and not stressful on your part. If you have not checked out all of my Percy Jackson reading vlogs, make sure to do that. I had so much fun reading this series that I said fun maybe 50 times per reading vlog. You can play a little drinking game, go for it. I'm very excited to start reading The Heroes of Olympus. Let me know in the comments below what cabin do you belong in? Do I have any half siblings out there? Any daughters or sons of Poseidon? I'll see you guys next time. Bye.